Finally, this one's over. Ref Glenn lost control of this one. And now Stormbringer and Tyler Knox laying into Dewey Robson, the only one left in the ring. Oh my goodness, folks, this one's over. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Rev Glenn just got thrown out. If only these guys would, would lay off. I mean, come on, you've done enough. You've done enough. Oh my goodness. This is unbelievable. Wait a minute, Jumping Josh is with the chair now. Jumping Josh loaded for bear. He wants... He wants action. He's not done. That chair shot hurt a lot, but it just got this kid fired up. Dewey Robson. What a night for Dewey Robson. Big sexy beast on the outside, jumping Josh, ready for a fight. I'm going to Dewey Robson's A fight. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What was... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Dewey Robson wasn't aware, I'm sure of it. It wasn't, he wasn't aware that it was jumping Josh. Drilled him with a right. Jumping Josh ready to fight back. Of course, they're both fired up. Into a shoving contest between jumping Josh and Dewey Robson. Now Bradley Graham making be, acting like the peacekeeper. Bradley Graham talking some sense into both Dewey and Josh. to bring her I don't want to talk to you well I want to talk to you I don't want to talk to you okay you don't get to just sit there don't and don't and yell. No, no, don't don't no. you yell at me don't you yell at me you were Call yelling it. at me last time calm week. down okay well then let's go inside and talk you don't tell me what to do well what are we gonna do I didn't want to talk to you you screw things up screw I did up. all the time bringer you screw things up I do yes Yes. Who hit me? Who hit with, who with the trophy? It was you. You hit me with a trophy. Not once, not twice. Watch it on the Facebook bringer three times. And you never screw up. No. You don't, you don't cost us matches with disqualifications. Getting yourself all hyped up, huh? Oh, oh yeah. You're Mr. Good Guy. Absolutely. You don't ever screw it up. Not as much as you do. Really? 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 So you want to want to talk a little further then about how maybe the reason that anybody at all zip it already? I don't want to talk. Do you think maybe zip it already? Well, I'm gonna keep I don't talking. Want to, yeah, you always do. Absolutely, you always do. Bring her. Blah, 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 blah. All the time. So you're the boss. Is that what I'm hearing? Every you're the time boss. I come out. I'm like, who? Sexy cobbler. He's got a trophy. I always got your back. Do you know? I always got your back. So what's happening right now? What's happening now? Let's see. Last week I had to wrestle in shorts. Shorts. Why? Why? Because you're like, oh, I'm gonna come into this this hallway here where I'm sitting, and I'm gonna pour you a drink, and you spill all over me. I was, I was, Stupid. I was, I was trying, I was trying to pour my brother a drink, man, okay? Who pours a drink like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness! What are you, what are you doing right now, man? Do you know what my dry cleaning bill was? What are you doing right now? I had to wrestle a match and my whole paycheck had to go to dry cleaning! 
Well, you, you could have brought him over. I, I would have washed your shorts for you. Huh. Yeah, I'm sure you would have. I would have. I would have took care of your stuff. Look at this hat. Look at it. You ruined it. What's because you throw it everywhere? Yeah. Because I'm a cowboy. I'm sexy cowboy. It's sexy when I do it, Bringer. Hey, man, you got. You got. Stop. Stop. What, stop doing what you're doing, man. <laughs> stop. Stop doing what you're doing. All I wanted was a little space. And you phone. And you phone, and you phone. We have matches we have to talk about. You're the one complaining about a paycheck. Well, we have to win wrestling matches so you can get paid. I can't win with you. Oh, give me a break. Give you a break. Every single time we step in the ring, lately, Bringer. Really? Every single time. Every single time. You never, you never got us disqualified. Yes. You do it more. Really? You do it more. You don't think maybe your little hyper-aggressive cowboy thing screws things up as well? Hyper-aggressive? I was out there minding my own business. Yeah, because we cowboy! have to talk! Cowboy! We're supposed to be a team, you jerk! We are a team! Then what's happening now? Hitting me with trophies! Spilling booze all over me! I smell like my grandma's house! Oh, you, you have to admit, you like, you like, you like being covered in booze, man. Okay, it's, like, it's like the good old days, man. Now when I gotta wrestle in shorts, Springer! Okay, I'm sorry! I can barely pay my bills! And if anybody knows anything about not being able to pay their bills, it's been divorced twice! Are you serious? Hey, I'll tell you what, okay? You wanna bring up that kind of crap? Yeah! Huh? Let me tell you something! I'm the best thing that ever happened to you, and you know it, okay? I'm not some old man, some old dog, that just because you're done with, you throw me aside. Okay? Not an option, hell. This is awesome. Let's make this happen. You got a riff. You got a riff right here. Let's make this happen. Let's go. Let's go. You two, sort it out. Sort it out, guys. Come on. Come on. The hell are you doing here? I'm gonna riff. Let's make this, make this, make this happen. The riff for what? I've talked to the brass. You guys gonna duke it out? You guys gonna solve your little, your little thing? And I'm gonna riff. You know what? You know what? What? Maybe he's on to something. What? Hit him. What? Shut up! No, Mind like, your own business. Remember when you hit him last time? You yeah. shut up. Well, remember when you hit me last time? Yeah, I do remember. And you want to know something? It'll feel damn good to hit you again. So how about this? We have a live stream coming up on May 29th. So how about on May 29th, you and me, and the best, shut up! You and me with that moron referee in the match. May 29th, it goes down. Bad seeds break up. You will rue the day, pal. Break up. Get You're him. on. Get him. Get him. Shut up. Get him. He's leaving. I'm your ref. I'm reffing that. May 29th. I'm reffing that. May 29th. I'm reffing that. May 29th. Storm Bringer and Cowboy. The following announcement has been paid for by Vinnie Ballantyne. All right. Jumpin' Josh, Dewey Robinson, you think you guys are friends. Well, you know what? You can't be friends and have a title. This is the title. This is your champion right here. Tyler Knox. Do you think he's friends with anybody? Are you friends with anybody? I got a couple. You and Cyan. Right. And the belt. And the, the belt, belt is yeah. our friend. Right? Dewey Robinson, I'm gonna make you think about it. Do you think you can really win being friends with Josh? Do you think you can trust Josh? Josh, do you think you can trust Dewey? Really? I thought. Yeah, you probably think that because you are that. Not that smart. Look at this man. Look how smart he is. This is a champion. This man has very little friends, and he doesn't need friends to trust because we trust each other. And this is what we want the belt. The preceding announcement has been paid for by Vinnie Ballantyne.
the PPW Heavyweight Champion, Sydney Steele is here, and do I have a gift for one member of that roster, because tonight we're going to see the return of the Sydney Steele 10 Minute Challenge. So if there is one man, woman, or child in the back, that thinks they can go one-on-one -on -one with the champ and last 10 minutes? Well, I'll give them a shot at this. The Pure Power Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Ooh, that is a gift. That is a gift. The Heavyweight Champion offering anybody in the back a shot at the title if they can last 10 minutes. That is a confident champion right there. We'll see if anybody's going to answer the call. Or the challenge, rather. I guess you could call it a bit of a... Whoa! <laughs> Ref Glenn stepping up to the plate. He's the first one to seize this opportunity, and good on him. I tell you, folks, any athlete, any athlete on any given day can be bested by another athlete on any given day. And Ref Glenn is hoping that today is his day. <laughs> Sydney Steele claiming to be. Oh, there's the bell to start this one off, and Sydney Steele claiming to be borderline insulted. Here we go. <laughs> you, you gotta be kidding me. I got 10 minutes to do whatever I want with this joker. Heavyweight champion just brushing Rev Glenn off. Now, now listen to him boast. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute, one. Rev Glenn taking advantage of Sydney Steele not focusing on that. Caught him with a nice little roll up and then a hip toss. Now he's unleashing one right hand anyway. I thought it was going to be a flurry, but no, he opts for the Irish whipping in the corner. Ref Glenn goes to goes with a big splash on the heavyweight champion. A scoop and a slam. Ref Glenn is on fire. Follows it up with a leg drop. Look at him go. One, two. Sydney Steele kicking out. I mean, not surprised. A uh, heavyweight champion of ours is a little bit more. Whoa. About to say the heavyweight champion of ours is a little bit tougher than that. But then he opted for a, a thumb in the eye, which we all know will slow anybody down, and now the assault is on. Boom into the corner. I've told you before, folks, when you get your head driven into that turnbuckle, I mean the paddle stopped the cut for sure, but it's, it doesn't stop the damage and the pain. I mean, that is solid steel under there. Watch this now. Watch this. Chicken wing suplex. Unbelievable delivery. Only Sydney Steele. Uh, in, in Western Canada, he's the only guy I've seen throwing that, that, Sid, that chicken wing suplex with effectiveness, and he does it on a regular basis. And you can see the results. Ref Glenn looking up at the lights, wondering who did it and what happened. Now he's back on all fours, vertical brace. Sidney Steele greets him with a right hand right in the jaw. And another one. Ref Glenn going to have to really work hard to, to, to sway the tide of this one. He started with a ball of fire, but now he's on the receiving end of a beatdown and up. Watch this. Watch the power. Nicely done. Nicely done. That's about as nice as a stalling suplex as you will ever see. That was textbook. Ref Rachel with a one-two. Sydney Steele firmly in control of this matchup. Ref Glenn gonna have to figure something out if he plans on getting on coming out on the top end of this one. Here we go. Looks like. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Boom! That one hurt. All kinds of wow. That one hurt. Sydney Steele trying to shake off the effects. 
Ref Glenn, he's trying to shake off the effects of that two-minute beatdown he just received. Now both men trying to make their way back to a vertical base. Sydney Steele's up on, and now Ref Glenn is up. Oh, wait a second! Wait a second! Ref Glenn looks like he has more intentions than just last in ten minutes. He wants to, he wants to put Sydney Steele down for a one-two-three. Sydney Steele not going to let him though. Wait a minute, Ref Glenn stuffing that takedown attempt. Look at the reversal. A little sloppy, but he did get the job done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a low blow that stopped Ref Glenn in his tracks. Ref Rachel couldn't see it. Wait a minute, what's this now? Oh my goodness. Oh my joke. One, two, three is right. Sydney Steele just dumped Ref Glenn on his head. Tombstone pile driver gets the job done. Give me that. Ref Glenn not Give lasting that. ten minutes, but oh. wow, Sydney Steele almost working up a sweat. Kudos to Ref Glenn for 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 stepping up to the plate, but he bit off just a little bit more than he can chew as your heavyweight champion. Leaves the ringside area with that heavyweight title belt. What's up, South Alberta? Travis and Copen here. What I've noticed is I haven't seen my name anywhere for May 29th. May 29th, we're going to be live streaming through Shaw TV, and I don't have an opponent. Seems like everyone here in Lethbridge seems to be a little busy with each other. I'm looking for an opponent. So if there's anybody in Alberta who wants to come to PPW down here in Lethbridge, THC is ready to have a fight with you. Here we go. Dewey Robs making his way towards the ring. He's going to take on Josh and Josh. And he's still got a little bit of animosity built between them. I mean, they're, they're both really uh, excellent competitors. Both did fantastic in, in their rookie years. Both these guys are fan favorites. But... Uh, I guess the, 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 the competitiveness in both of them is stimulating a little bit of that. We'll have to see if they can just get us in. Uh oh. Josh definitely not in a very good mood as you heard him. I'm not sure if you did hear him, but he was saying no uh no happy thoughts tonight for Dewey. No fun for Dewey. These guys are just going to fight. There's the bell. And let's see how well this... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are these two guys doing out here? Jumping Josh, ready to focus on the match in the ring, but Dewey's focusing on the two guys who are trying to. That's Tyler Knox, the cruiserweight champion, by the way, and uh, his newfound friend, Cyanide. Who... Looks like they're just going to pull up a couple of chairs and watch this match as it gets underway. Collar and elbow tie up. Dewey Robson taking a wrist. See how, how effectively he can use that to his advantage. Jump and Josh reversing. Look at that. Nice reversal, too, into a hammer lock. Oh, look at that. Pin attempt. One, two. Jump and Josh trying to end it early. Taking, taking, taking a headlock, it looks like, on Dewey. He's going to have to figure a way out of this. Looks like Jump and Josh has a good tight grip right under the chin there. Oh. Dewey Robson just powered his way out. Arm ringer, headlock of his own. See if Josh had managed to get his way out of this. See what he uses. Forearm up in the throat area, interrupt the eyes. Nice, off the hook. Oh, Dewey running through jumping Josh. That always hurts when you hit them out that hard, folks. I'm telling you. Now, jumping Josh, looking for a hip toss. He gets it. Going for a cover, one, two. And 
Dewey kicks out at two. Jumping Josh grabbing that rear uh, chin lock. Dewey not going to give up to a rear chin lock. There's no way he'll give up to a rear chin lock. Here we go now. Dewey Robson powering his way out of that headlock off the ropes. Jumping Josh. Jumping Josh going through Dewey Robson this time. Jumping Josh playing to the, the very small crowd, Tyler Knox and Cyanide, who are doing a little more heckling than cheering. A couple of jerks, they don't belong at ringside, to be honest with you. Anyways, back in the ring, Dewey Robson scooping up, jumping Josh, who floats off the back, delivers a couple of knees. Looking for a suplex to see if he can get it. He does. He does get it. Oh, maybe he's going to go for the trifecta. That was number one. Let's see, number two. Over he goes. He got it. Let's see if he can get the third one. A la Eddie Guerrero. R.I.P. He was a hero to many. Watch this now. Jumping Josh. Oh, Dewey Robson stuffing the trifecta attempt. And now watch this. Oh, oh I love that maneuver. Dewey Robson delivers out, out of nowhere sometimes. Got himself a good two count out of it. <laughs> Jumping Josh is tough as nails. He is the toughest, toughest competitor you'll get in his weight class. It, it's going to take more than that, that variation of a neck breaker to put him away, but that's a good start, let me tell you. Now, do your ops and Irish whip off the ropes. Jumping Josh, tuck the clothesline attempt. And, oh, oh, watch this now. Jumping Josh, jumping, boom. All kinds of impact. Dewey Robson, one, two, kicks out about two and a half. Dewey Robson, also a, a tough as nails competitor. It's going to take a little bit more than that to put him away, but Jumpin' Josh is off to a good start. This would be one heck of a match, folks, by the time it's all said and done. Oh, drop toe hold leaves Dewey hung up on the ropes now. Jumping Josh, eyeballing Tyler Knox. Watch this. 619 attempt. Stuffed, I think Dewey stuffed it. Now, yeah, he did high knee. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Tyler Knox is, 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 is in there distracting ref Rachel. Wait a minute. Cyanide now with, uh, yeah, Cyanide with a neck breaker. Ref Rachel has no idea what's going on. It's Tyler Knox. God, her ref Rachel distracted. Cyanide pulls Jumpin' Josh on top of Dewey. Oh, he got him! Jumpin' Josh picking up the W. I guarantee you Jumpin' Josh does not want to win that way. I guarantee you Jumpin' Josh would not want to win that way if he knew. Yeah, you're, uh, you're welcome, pal. If Jumpin' Josh knew that that was uh, some shady trickery going on behind his back, he, he wouldn't want that victory at all, I guarantee it. Oh, no. Now these two having a shoving match. Dewey not impressed. These two having words again. Dewey Robson leaving the ring really, really frustrated and upset. Like I said, if Jumpin' Josh knew that, that that went on behind his back, I don't think he'd want the W. For that. That'll, uh, that'll do it for Pure Power Wrestling Power Slam TV tonight, folks. Thanks for joining us. I'm your old pal Bulldog signing off. We'll see you next week.